Welcome everyone. This is another short answers video. So I'm going to answer some viewers question very quickly in a short uh, video. So the question was regarding this SZBK07 DC DC converter. And as you can see, this is one of my converted converter, which means that I have removed the original trimmer potentiometers and I replaced them with these multi-turn uh, precision potentiometers. So I can uh, change the voltage and the current on a much finer scale and it's much much more easy to access this by hand than turning this tiny tiny screw with a, a screwdriver. So the question was if I have measured the input current at different voltages which is also called the quiescent uh, current. So this configuration is basically when you just measure the input current and you change the input voltage and there is no load on the output and uh, how I wired everything is that uh, we have these two clips this guy here and uh, this guy here this is the input uh, voltage or the power supply which will feed the power to the input of this converter and then uh, this wire here is going to this uh, multimeter as well as this wire here so black and red clamps and they are measuring the voltage so parallel connection and as you can see there is a split uh, between the uh, positive supply voltage and the input because I run the input current through this other multimeter so we are measuring the current the input current and of course that has to be done in series and then the output comes out on this very thick wire and it is ending in these clips and I have nothing else uh, maybe or hopefully this is not a load uh, I have a another voltmeter just to show you that uh, I maxed out all the values on the output but there is no load like a uh, resistive or inductive or whatever load so it's just hanging so what I will do I made a small list of different input voltages between the minimum and maximum range of this DC DC converter and between the capabilities of my power supply so we will stop at 30 volts so I just have a few uh, voltages and I just note down uh, the values so first of all we will start at uh, 6 volts so you should see 6 volts here uh, when I press the button and then we will see the output voltage here and then this will be the input current so let's see. So I turn on the power supply and as you can hopefully see it, uh, that is 6 volts here. And now the output voltage is 2.5 volts because this 6 volt is actually the minimum. Uh, so I think that this DC DC converter does not perform very well at the minimum voltage. But nevertheless, we note down that we have 13.3 uh, milliamps. And uh, and we carry on so I increase the voltage by one volt so or two watts sorry so we go to eight watts so as you can see here we have eight watts input uh, uh, voltage this shows 8.1 but uh, the power supply shows eight so I rely on that let's say and then we have 19.8 uh, milliamps let's call it like that and now you can see that the output voltage is 7.7 .7, uh, watts and in fact this is the CV potentiometer I can start uh, turning it just to show you that I can modify the voltage and now it drops so now I have uh, lower voltage and now you have to notice that this uh, quiescent current uh, increases and if I drop the voltage to the minimum then this goes to 57 uh, milliamps so I go back to the maximum voltage, so I just turn the potentiometer to the other uh, end. So we have the maximum possible output voltage now, but without any load. So now the next step is 10 volts. So we jump to 10, 10 volts and then 9.7 volt is registered on the output and the current is 23.4 milliamps. So let's jump to 15 volts now. So 15 volts, as you can see, 22.2 uh, milliamps. And now we have 14.2 uh, 
49 volts so it's quite close to the input voltage now we jump to 20 20 volts 23 milliamps and uh, 19.3 has the output voltage 25 is the next uh, station so 25 23.7 and the output voltage is 24.14 so it uh, provides quite close value to the input so let's see 23.5 yeah, and now 30 which is the which is the end of my power supply so 30 watts 24.2 and then 28.99 and just uh, to check this I decrease the voltage here uh, to the minimum just to see where this goes if it goes to 50 something as it did uh, previously uh, not really so yeah uh, if I change the output voltage by turning the CV potentiometer then there will be some change in the quiescent current but it's uh, quite negligible at least from my perspective it's like uh, 20 milliamps of change as compared to this so now we are at 24 and if I start to turn it and start to regulate the voltage then the current goes up a little bit so now we are at 43 so 19 milliamps uh, additional current is drawn by the circuit but that's all So I hope that this was the question and uh, this kind of demonstration answers your question and I also put a graph here and also on my website so you can see these numbers in a more clear way and uh, as a chart so please check it. So I hope you like this video, I hope this was helpful, don't forget to visit my website curiousscientist.tech and see you in the next video.